So we're trying to keep DLC funny here. I've been hard at work with going through a number of new weapons, armors and mods now freely available for us to go ahead and hunt. But did you know, there's a certain mod in game that allows you to bypass a number of enemies in run with shields that before were impossible to bypass. And yes, you're here in the right, the new mod anti bio rounds have been introduced in the game and they are a godsend for the very annoying enemies that love to have their shields up and not have a care in the world. So what are anti barrier rounds you say? Well as the name describes, they allow your weapon to bypass barrier vex or barrier hive champion shields which are much different than your standard shielded enemies. Now each type of special shielded enemies have an icon by their name which indicates to you which special rounds can be used on them. All you have to do is match them to the correct one and you're all peachy. But just a heads up, the anti barrier rounds mods are only available for SMGs and ARs currently and will most likely be switched to other weapon categories next season, but that's just a guess. Now you'll know if they're active once you start to either ADS or just generally stand still, as the anti barrier rounds will pop up in the left corner with a little title saying anti barrier rounds active. On top of that, it also goes red when you fire the selected weapon with the mod attached to it, which is a very nice and cool effect going into it as well. Now to get this mod, you just need to do one simple thing and that is to just unlock the Gate Lord's Eye artifact at level 8. And then all we have to do is just pump in some XP into it, rank up like normal and then the mod should then be made available for you to go ahead and pick up and use for the two selected weapon categories. And don't worry if you picked the wrong one, as you can pick the correct one again however many times you like as long as you're ranking it up. Now although these rounds are catered for their special enemies categories, they also have a secondary effect and that is allowing you to bypass Hobgoblin's immunity shield, Night Shields and those very annoying Hydra barriers. This here people is a mod you should definitely sort after and use for higher tier PvE content such as Nightfalls, Gambit, Raid, Lost Sectors, Heroic Story Missions etc. You name it and this perk here will make you about 90% unstoppable against the very foes who thought they were unstoppable. Now also a heads up, Ariana's Rao Exotic Hand Cannon has this perk built into it as a Incendric which is very handy indeed and something I wish all other exotic weapons in game also have a similar effect to as well. However, not all enemies with immunity shielding will be affected by this, such as the Taken Phalanxes for example, where the normal version of them do get affected by them, but the Taken variant don't. I don't know if that is just a design point or whether there's actually some kind of logical law reasoning into it, but it's kind of strange that they, the Taken variant, don't take it even though they use the shields for 95% of their engagements. But if that's how it is, that's how it is. But yeah, that's a very quick TA with the new mod that I recommend you guys go ahead and commonly try out and install. I, I believe you guys probably already have messed around with it, but I wholeheartedly recommend that you get a any type of weaponry, a fast firing SMG or a fast firing AR, slap that onto it, uh, get ideal perk around that weapon to make the mod even more effective and you have an absolute shredder of weapon that's capable of stopping any immune shielded enemy in your way. It is honestly a mod that I highly recommend you guys go ahead and install for purely PvE content. It has no effect for PvP so don't worry, but the PvE side of things it will make your life a whole lot easier. Now if you enjoyed the video then please leave a like, a sub and share the videos with others who are also interested in this type of stuff. Also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny and Amphon based content if you dig that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again thank you for stopping by and I'll see you guys in the next one.